Yeah. All right. So obviously, I want to do this video separate. Is in regards to. I'm pretty sure everyone has seen it now. The interview with Chris Eubank Senior. Um. I know a lot of online um, doctors are saying about man not being well and all this kind of stuff there. But in all fairness, from what I see, look, Chris Eubank, from when I was growing up, like, Chris Eubank, I'm not gonna lie, uh, like, that, that, was a, that was a guy for me. I just, lo I just love the, he's a, the antagonist, not, not just only for man from being from Peckham, but the, like, the way, the way he used to conduct himself, why not merchant, coming up with this whole, like the whole persona, the pantomime, the hill, he was, he was playing the hill. Um, yeah, Eubank Senior was always my guy when I was growing up. Yeah, like, yeah, just the why not merchant, you know, can, can we have some parliamentary procedure here? Like, it, it, like classics. So, yeah. Um, obviously, I've watched, I've actually watched the whole, um, interview with this Rob guy Rob I want to say his name is Rob Moore from what I see of Eubank there's some things where I feel like he's, he's playing his he's playing his role but then there's some things in the, in that interview where I'm like mm, nah something ain't right with him man something ain't right with him and when I say like obviously you can still see and it's not it doesn't take a genius to know that he's still mourning obviously the lots of um, Seb so like I've always said this actually you know what actually I'm going to put this out there as well I want to send my condolences to Dean White as well um, I saw it on Boxing Media I've chatted to you privately already but I saw it on Boxing Me Boxing Boxing King Media um, at your show at Telford yeah send my condolences again to you to the loss of your son like and yeah, like I said, even for Eubank, no, no father, no parent, should I say, should ever outlive their their kids. And you could tell the pain that man's going through. Um, he had he said a lot of things about his kids, I don't know, like about kids being spoiled or something in the terms. Like, there's, like I said, there's a lot, there's a lot going on, and. I feed it for him, man. Honestly, I feed it for him. Um, obviously, talking about the interviews that the interviews that he's doing. Um, this will be his last time in the UK because after this, then he's going to go to America, and then he's going. He's basically going back to Africa, and he's never coming back to England again. There's there's a lot of like, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know with um. A lot like, I'm not saying it, but I hope, I really hope that he's okay. Uh, I hope it's not like it's the effects of the shots. That's obviously when you, like I said, when you're in a fight game, the shots, the punishment, you get getting bashed it and bashed it. And like I said, it's not just the fight on, it's not the fight on, the, it's not, sorry, it's not just the fight night, it's the preparations, it's the whole, Dieting. Um, listening to what Eddie Hearn said about no one used to cut weight more extreme than Eubank Senior. So, like, I hope there's not a. I hope there's not effects of what's happened to Senior. Um, through the fights over the years, is now taking its toll, and maybe the loss, obviously, of Sebastian is maybe like trigger something. I hope not, because. Yeah, and then you got to think of obviously like he's never ever got over that Michael Watson. Like a lot of people can say a lot about Eubank Senior, but you could tell the guy is very remorseful. Like, um, yeah, he does the whole thing about Warrior Cold and Rare Tear Tear, but when man when man was talking about his like Michael Watson, like you could tell what happened to Watson, Eubank Senior was never the same fighter after that. That like everyone knows. Like I said, it's. He was never the same fighter. Then obviously, um, there was a couple of years ago where he done an interview with um, that um, Penis Morgan, yeah? And 
yeah, you can even tell even from there, my man was, yeah, like I said, it, it hits him, it hits him hard. He's very, like I said, a very remorseful guy. So, yeah, I just hope, I hope you find peace with, you know, obviously with Eubanks Jr. I hope, um, yeah, I hope everything works out for you, man. Uh, I hate, like I said, I hate, I did find I did find that the interview very disturbing. Like the way, like I said, the way he was talking, like, and we know he does this whole pantomime. Like he, he says, like comes up with his poetry, comes up with all this. But I don't know, like this this fight here. So fight. Well, listen, this interview right here was, mm, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't the best. That's what I could say. Um, yeah so i just want to say i hope you hope i hope everything's well fit and healthy um i never don't i never want any parent to go through what like i said what dean dean white is going through right now and seeing what he's gone through with the loss of his son yeah just hope yeah, nothing but blessings, and yeah, I hope everything just works out for the best. Now, people, obviously, I know there's these rumors going on about senior was in a um, a mental institution. Now, I don't know how true that is, but from seeing the way senior was with Spencer Oliver, and obviously listening to. Um, his first interview with uh, Spencer Furon and Tundi Ajayi on Stand Up For Sale. Make sure you subscribe to that as well. Like, yeah, it's... Yeah, I just, I just, hope, I just hope the best for a man. I hope nothing but the best for a man. And whatever he, whatever he's like... I, f- I hope he... It never, you're never gonna find closure in it, losing your your, your son, your, your daughter, your, your child. But I hope... I hope your family could just come together. So yeah, that's like for the whole for the whole Eubank, like the whole Eubank family, Chris Eubank, your family, I hope you all nothing but blessings. And yeah, that's all I got for that. Um if you ain't seen the interview, like I said, if you're not a Eubank, like yeah, you see the interview. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't like I said, it wasn't it was not seen the best light of senior from what I know of him so yeah my bro yeah enough about blessings for you um I don't want to say I hope you get well soon and all that kind of stuff there because you might not be but I hope you find like I said closure with obviously the departed of your son so yeah that's all I can say for that blessings my bro uh make sure you like share comment subscribe there's Elijah for the mouth